You ready to have some fun? Day 15 and still symptom free, which means when I started this little project, I did not have the Rona. That's right, I've been at this for two weeks. To my tens of subscribers, thank you for being here. <laughs> and speaking of the Rona, my forced unemployment has been extended until April 30th. Yay! More tales from the liquor wall. <laughs> Let's call this one old shit. This is a bottle of Benedictine I got at a liquor store that was going out of business in Glendale. Benedictine is an herbal French liqueur, and this bottle was hiding in the back covered in dust. It does not have a barcode, but after asking around, I don't think it's super old. Even though it looks like it was recovered from a sunken ship, it's probably from the 90s, maybe the 80s. If I'm wrong, light me up in the comments. They don't make them like they used to. I couldn't get the foil off the cap of that bottle, so instead I'll be pouring from this bottle, which I got from the same shop but isn't quite as old. What's this called again, Bob? Happy accidents. That's right. I have had Benedictine before. It's sweet and herbaceous, so I have a baseline of what this might taste like. Benedictine second attempt. Cheers. Herbs come through. Sweetness comes through. Let's try this out. I actually like this more than Benedictine I've had recently. This is way more herbaceous. This is a lot closer to a proper bitter. Um, Benedictine now, uh, this tastes like ma honey macerated with herbs. This is actually quite funky. I don't know how much of that is attributed to the age. I know that light and oxygen can wreak havoc on old liqueurs and it does have burn. Apologies for the other bottle not working out. I don't always plan these videos ahead. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends. Uh, stay safe, all the advice professionals, and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers.